what's up everybody? Welcome back to Mad Medicine. My name is Farhan. I am a second year medical student. And if you are new to our channel, we like to talk about everything that has to do with medicine. And right now we're going to be talking about medical school specifically, but stay tuned. We're also going to be discussing nursing, dental, pharmacy, etc. A lot of other things. Okay. So a lot of things in plan. We're going to be posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So stay tuned to the end of the video. So you guys know what we're going to be talking about in the next video. Um, if you guys like our video, if you guys want to leave a comment below, please do so. If you guys like the stuff that we're doing, like our channel, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell button so you guys get notifications every time we post. All right, that being said, all my advertising is done. Let's talk about today's topic. Today we're going to be discussing something a lot of you guys have questions about, a lot of you guys have interest in, and that is volunteer experience. A lot of you guys hit us up from time to time, whether it's at panels that we're at, or whether it's on YouTube or in, in on Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. You guys ask us, do you need volunteer experience for medical school? And so that's what we're gonna be discussing today. Pretty straightforward, all right? Uh, that's it. So that being said, let's get to it. On our channel, we have talked about a lot of things so far. We've talked about clinical experience, we've talked about what the medical schools look for overall, and we have also talked about, you know, a slew of other things, research included. Now we're going to be talking about volunteer experience. Volunteer experience is, in my opinion, very important, okay? I think volunteer experience helps us as people, as pre-med students, pre-health students grow because we get to experience what the field is like. We get to get more experience, get to, you know, absorb that feeling, get that, uh, I want to use a different word other than experience, but you get my point. It lets us know what it's like to work in the field we want to work in. Okay. So in that aspect, I think volunteer experience is really, really important. I think it helps us grow as people, as students, as future physicians or dentists or whatever, what have you, it really helps us grow and become better at what we're going to be doing eventually. Now that it doesn't really answer the question, do you need volunteer experience for medical school? And keep in mind, this applies to dental school, nursing school or anything. Okay. When it comes down to volunteer experience, I like to think of it in very logical terms. Okay. So let's, let's give you a scenario. Let's say you work for a company that you don't really like, or you work a job that you don't really like, but you're getting paid to work that job, right? So the hours you put in, you get that dough, you get that moolah, you get that money and that money helps you do whatever you want to do. Now, are you going to keep working that same job that you dislike because you're getting paid? Most likely. Now, are you going to keep working that same job that you dislike for free? Yeah, definitely not. Right. That's like a stupid question. Uh, okay. Uh, now that's, that's the point I'm trying to make. You're only going to volunteer your time for things you actually enjoy. Okay. And you know this because when you start doing something you don't enjoy, you start thinking in your mind intrinsically, why am I doing this? I hate what I'm doing. It's not enjoyable for me. Why am I struggling and putting in all this effort into something I dislike? And that's right. If you dislike it, why would you volunteer? So that's what medical schools are looking for. If you truly like something, if you truly enjoy medicine, helping people out, working in the field, well, aren't you going to be more likely to volunteer your time for free without any return? Yeah, most likely. And that's what medical schools really, really want to see. They want to see applicants who are interested, who are like, damn, man, I like this. I want to help people. I really enjoy what I'm doing, who are passionate about medicine, who are passionate about helping people. And the reason why I'm saying that is because volunteer experience, yes, it helps you grow, but it lets you know as a person, as an applicant, as a future doctor, physician, uh, uh, dentist, nurse, what have you, it lets you know, are you cut out for this field? Okay. This is a type of experience you're going to accumulate as you go through your pre-med years, as you go through your pre-health years, um, where you try to figure out, is this the right career for me? Is this the right path for me? And it really helps you understand other than a clinical experience, you know, a volunteer experience will definitely help you understand. Should I do this? Is this a good idea? Now, one thing to keep in mind is that medicine is not easy. I know I've said this a million times. I'm going to say this another million times as we progress on our channel. Contrary to popular belief, medicine is not easy. Okay. The lifestyle is not easy. The work is not easy. The studying is not easy. It takes a lot of hard work and you're only going to do this hard work if you're motivated. Same with all the stuff you volunteer for. You're only going to volunteer into things that you actually like doing, you like enjoying, and you really don't need something back because the activity in and of itself is more than enough for you. 
Medical schools want to see that. Medical schools don't want applicants who are, you know, half-assing it, who are halfway in this, who are like, oh, you know, I like medicine, but like, it's a lot of work, but the pay is good, so I'm gonna go to medical school. You, they don't want to see that. They want to see people who are like, man, let's do this. You know, we got a patient who's in, we got to take care of this person, he's sick, we got to help them out as best as we can so that we can get them going. And that's what they really want to see. Now, volunteer experience is very variable. You can volunteer at a nursing home or you can even go down the street if you have a local community garden and volunteer your time there. If you go to a church or a mosque or a synagogue, what have you, you can volunteer your time there. It doesn't matter what you volunteer in, okay? That's one thing I want to make clear. You don't have to volunteer in clinical related stuff. You can volunteer in whatever you want to volunteer in as long as it's something you're passionate about, okay? If you like to do something, then go out and do it. Now this goes back to the well-rounded applicant that we talked about in our previous video where we discussed what do medical schools look for in applicants. So, uh, sorry, selfless advertising. If you guys haven't seen that video, uh, there's gonna be a banner shooting somewhere over here. Go click it, we talk about what medical schools look for in applicants. But in that video, we discuss the, one con the concept of a well-rounded applicant. Now, if you volunteer for something, you clearly enjoy it. You probably have a passion for it. And it can show medical schools that you are a well-rounded applicant because you like to do multiple things. So that's another aspect of the medical school application, getting into medical school, all that stuff that you can cover with your volunteer work. And also keep in mind, you can also do volunteer work at a clinical place. So you can get clinical experience and volunteer experience all at once. It's very variable, but I really think that volunteer experience is highly recommended. I highly recommend you guys get some volunteer experience, not just for medical school, but for yourself. So you can get a better understanding of, do I want to do medicine? Do I really want to do medicine? Right? You may be thinking in your mind, yeah, I, I want to do it. You know, I've seen ER, I've seen Grey's Anatomy and it's like, ah shit. But to be honest with you, that's not what reality is like. You may want to experience it if you're living in a fantasy world. Uh, <laughs> so I highly recommend you guys get volunteer experience. Will it hurt you if you don't have volunteer experience for medical school? I don't want to say it will hurt you, okay? If you don't have any volunteer experience, I don't think that's a bad thing. But I do think that if you have volunteer experience, it will definitely help you, okay? Is it a deciding factor? I don't think by any means that's a deciding factor. There are multiple deciding factors that go into getting accepted. And eventually we're gonna go down the road and we're gonna talk about what medical school applications are like for the medical school itself. Not for you guys as applicants, but also well, how do medical schools evaluate applicants? But for now, just understand that if you don't have volunteer experience, it definitely isn't gonna harm you. But if you do have it, it will definitely, definitely help you. If you are thinking that volunteer experience will make or break you getting into medical school, I don't think that's the case. I think volunteer experience is a supplement to your application as a person. It lets them know, yes, you have good grades, yes, you have a good MCAT score, you have good clinical experience, etc., etc., but you also have hobbies and you also are passionate about things that may or may not have to do with medicine. The fact that you enjoy medicine and you volunteered in medicine is great. The fact that you went to your mosque or synagogue or the local uh, uh, YMCA to spend time and help other people, that's also great. Volunteering is a good thing. I highly recommend it. And I think you guys should definitely try it out if you guys are interested in going to any healthcare profession. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think we covered a lot about volunteer experience today. Uh, and I hope it made sense. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you didn't, if you want me to talk about something else, if you want me to go more in depth, leave a comment below letting me know what you guys want me to talk about. What do you guys think? Do you guys think volunteer experience is important? Leave a comment below. Also, if you guys have anything you want me to cover, let me know too. Like the video if you guys like it. And if you guys want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the notification bell on the side so you guys can get up to date notifications every time we post. On Wednesday, we are going to be talking about leadership experience, okay? A lot of you guys hit us up about extracurricular activities and leadership experience opportunities and how to get it, what, what not. So that's what we're gonna be discussing on Wednesday, okay? So make sure you guys come back Wednesday. Bring a friend too, okay? All right, thank you so much. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Peace.